just by practicing using these two, two uh, strategies, interleaving and performance games, we, we induce a deeper type of learning, a deeper type of processing. And so this forms the ability for students to develop chunks. Um, and I'm sure many of you know what chunks are or have heard about it because it's becoming more popular. But uh, chunks are basically, this is taken from Dr. Anders Ericsson, chunks are basically units of information and they can help um, guide and facilitate the, the, uh, the um, behavior, the skilled behavior that some golfers can, uh, that golfers are striving for. Um, and so by doing this, um, I like to explain the chunks in, um, in a, an analogy, which I think is pretty cool. Um, you like this as well, don't you, Hive? So imagine a letter. On its own, it's almost meaningless. Uh, take any letter, the letter L, M, whatever it might be, it's completely meaningless. But then if you add a letter to another letter, you create a word. And then words can form sentences. Sentences can form paragraphs. And this can form a masterpiece in the form of a novel, a story, poems, you name it. It can bring about something greater. And so flip to the golf scenario, the, the golf environment. And um, in practice, you might have a, a basic chip shot, just a simple chip shot. But on its own, it's almost meaningless. What, if you can create the context by using just these two strategies, then the student can form their own type of masterpiece in the form of a shot. So Ian put a pretty good model together here that explains that. So the golfer's masterpiece is a shot just from utilizing those two practice techniques. 